Greetings, I'm Richard Chambers, the President and CEO of the Institute of Internal Auditors. You may know me from the blogs I write for the internal audit risk management and compliance professionals around the world. You know, if you're like me, you've now been quarantined or sequestered in your homes for weeks. We're learning a lot about the world we live in and we're learning a lot about the world that we took for granted. I know I, for one, miss my barber. But more importantly, I, re I really miss the regular face-to-face -face contact with my colleagues at the IIA and the members and colleagues from around the world. As internal auditors, we're enriched by the regular interaction with others. The word audit itself derives from the Latin word hear. So I thought it might be helpful if you could hear firsthand my thoughts on the experience we're going through and how we as internal auditors can best add value. I hope to share a series of these messages over the next few weeks. It's now only been two months since I shared a blog on the one mistake internal auditors could not afford to make in 2020. That is articulating how we add value before it's too late. The one way, and I think the most important way we add value is our risk-centric approach to our work. In essence, we follow the risks. Here are five things I'd be doing today if I were a chief audit executive leading an internal audit team through this extraordinary period in human history. Number one, I would be maintaining a continuous dialogue with management and the board. They're going through the same kind of, uh, of uncertainty that you are. They haven't been through this before either. Zone in on what's keeping everyone awake. I know the experience I had when I was a chief audit executive and the first crisis hit my organization was to focus on what my CEO and what my chairman needed the most from me at that point in time. Third, I would be preparing, or I would prepare, an absolute zero-based risk assessment. Any risk assessment prepared before February of this year probably is obsolete. I would absolutely look at what are the risks that the organization's facing, and I would do it in a zero-based manner. Expedite your internal audit coverage. That's my fourth thing I would be working on. We cannot afford, we cannot afford to take our time to go through the plotting, uh, monotonous process that a lot of internal auditors undertake. This is dynamic. We have to be doing audits at the speed of risk. And then finally, communicate, communicate, communicate. There is no there's no instance in when it, I believe internal audit over communicates. And this is an environment where communication must be dynamic and it must be real time. I wanna thank you for taking time to tune in to my first, uh, the first of my virtual conversations. Please keep an eye out for my next message. Uh, I hope to have further dialogue with you over the next couple of weeks. I believe that together we are stronger as internal audit professionals. I'm Richard Chambers, President and CEO of the Institute of Internal Auditors.